Macy Matarazzo here from the Love Advantage, Love Vibe TV, and I am your love and dating coach. And I wanted to share with you today the fourth love archetype or what I've been calling the inner love gurus or goo yous because really the success of our relationships is all about coming back to ourselves and really knowing how to cultivate the relationship with ourselves that we want to experience with a beloved partner. And each one of the love archetypes that I've been sharing over the last couple days have important qualities that we can cultivate and affirm within us and they also have some shadowy parts. So the cool part about that is that when we recognize we're feeling bad or our relationships aren't working out or just our life doesn't, we're just feeling stuck, there will always be one of these love archetypes that we can identify that are probably calling out to us to, to access them. Because when we know that, for example, we're feeling kind of resentful about something, really stuck in that anger, then what we know is we can call on the BFF. And the BFF is all about healing inner anger and and being able to forgive and coming into a deeper level of self-acceptance and then we know we can we can take steps to to get there and that's what's been so powerful about the love archetypes in my life is that now i know exactly what's going on and i have the tools to navigate between them because we're always going to be flowing from one to the other. So today is the final one and this is a really powerful one. It is the unicorn lover. So if you haven't taken the quiz, my love quiz, I'll put the link below, I really encourage you to go take it because the love quiz will help you identify which love archetype is speaking to you right now like which one is active in you right now so if you take the quiz and you get unicorn lover then you'll be able to read okay this is what is happening for me so what I know about unicorn lover is that when we struggle especially in dating this one is this is a really powerful one when we're looking at our, our dating experience if we feel like that we're maybe afraid that we'll lose our independence if we're if we get into a relationship or we really pride ourselves in being super independent oftentimes that looks like we're going 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 and we're doing and we're really successful and we can get things done and we can you know we're showing up in our careers in great ways and yet we're still single and that part seems even confusing because we know we've been able to create success we know how to get jobs we know how to buy a house we know how to do these things raise kids all of that yet then dating feels confusing that's absolutely quality of unicorn lover and when we can unleash the unicorn lover powers for good the good powers um, or the light powers. I don't really like saying good or bad because it's all just a deeper level of awareness. The light qualities, rather than living in the shadow qualities, then we can learn more of the feminine way. Unicorn Lover is really about understanding our feminine power. And that is relaxing and being able to open up to receive oftentimes it's hard to receive support and help and even relationships when we're in the, 
the shadow part of unicorn lover, which is really like galloping along really fast. And so things to look out for are if you feel like you really want to claim your independence, if you feel like you are more of a doer and it's hard to just sit back and receive, that's one. Um, it's also about, um, let me check my noties just to make sure I don't leave any good ones up. Um, it's also about, oh, just learning to create habits that affirm and cultivate the kind of relationship you want. So when unicorn lover is in the shadowy side, you can feel confused. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to find a great guy. I don't know where to go. And, and that's a hard thing because in so many areas of your life, you, you know how to do it. You, you got it figured out. So it's important to also understand that this isn't relationship stuff isn't something that we're taught. We, we just try to figure it out as we go. And the love archetypes give you a diagnostic process so that you can figure out, okay, look, I'm in this painful kind of experience or I'm feeling stuck like this or I'm I'm struggling with this kind of emotion or maybe it's a lack of trust or hopelessness or resentment or fears around not being good enough like all of those kinds of messages that often float around in our head or feelings that we experience around our love life and each one of these archetypes is within you. So as soon as you identify that, then you can see the polarity. So the beauty of this is when you recognize what's happening, at whatever frustration it is, then you also have the polarity of that. So if you're feeling really hopeless, what is also available for you right then is faith and trust and anticipation of love to come. So, you, so you, that part is available in you, but it's about understanding and learning strategies to go from here to here. So if you would like to learn those strategies, because there really are really simple practices and mindset hacks, you could say, that are, are ways to quickly move from one to the other so that, that you're not losing time actually thinking, wow, I am hopeless because you're not. There's always that other polarity. But it's easy to sometimes feel like I am angry, I am hopeless, I am stuck, rather than recognizing that that's just part of the experience. There's also the availability for that other more powerful, affirming, life-affirming, and and relationship affirming space that you can have. And that's why I put together a special webinar masterclass that is all about awakening, unleashing these inner love gurus, which are these love archetypes. And I am going to show you exactly how to go from those difficult feelings, not feeling good enough, not feeling lovable, not feeling worthy, not knowing what to do to the empowering space, which is you know what to do. You feel trust. You have faith. You're really clear about your vision. And before you know it, you're living more in the 
in your happiest you, which is super attractive, super attractive. It's super magnetic. And from there, all things are possible. You can attract to the kind of relationship that you've always dreamed about. And you feel a lot more peace and joy in your everyday experience because who doesn't want to have that freedom? It really is a huge freedom to know that you're not stuck, that there's a way through every one of these blocks and it can be really as simple sometimes as like a one minute practice. So I am super excited to share this with you. So check out the registration link that I included in the description above and or below, depending on where you're reading this from. And go ahead and register for your spot. I'm only gonna do this one time as a complimentary workshop. And then after that, it's gonna be a paid experience. So please make an effort to make this work for you so you can be there and join me and really get empowered in your love life and feel that you in you that is so beautiful and powerful and ready to receive the love you deserve. So thanks for being with me. I want to show you my mug that I made. It's called Unicorn Lover and just be you. So this is what my husband and I did last Saturday. This is our date night. We went and painted mugs and it was so fun. And here is a baby unicorn named Gary. It's just a little baby unicorn. And I'm so glad you were here. Register for the class. I can't wait to see you there. And share with me what you discovered around your love archetype of the unicorn lover today. I want to hear. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.